What's up guys, it is Nick and we are back on Shining Resonance Refrain. Welcome. Take your pick. Got the store here. Take your pick. Quests. Interesting. Just talk to her. Shopping, my wares are there. Have a look. Take your pick. Uh I don't Have think we nice need day. we can save some money. Alright, I gotta figure out I gotta figure out where to go. Okay, so trying to get here. Enemy approaching. Uh, I went the wrong way. Turn around. Yes. All right. Enemy approaching. All right, our exit is up this way. That thing on your neck, that's some kind of magic ward, isn't it? Yeah, it's sealing something away. Something. Um. What's up? When you said seal just now, Your Radiance, you were talking about the Shining Dragon, weren't you? Yeah. My mom gave me this to keep him sort of locked down in there. She's I see. Perhaps that's why I've been unable to commune with him directly. Something wrong back there? No, sir. Nothing. If you say so. But this sealed power of yours, I'd think carefully on its nature. I'd likewise think on the seal's architect. What might have gone through her minds when she created it, hmm? Were you eavesdropping? And besides, what- Wait, wait. Back up. You're talking like you... knew my mom. Hmm. We've been spotted! <laughs> they're gonna make me walk... <laughs> they're gonna make me walk through this little area to get more dialogue over here. Is there actually something over here? Just have all the dialogue together, like why? Why do it like... why do it like this? This should be far enough. We ought to be safe now. Sonia, Rena, are you two alright? I don't think I can move around much, but the haze is starting to clear a little. Oh, dizzy. Sonia is recovering. Rina should be well again if she just rests. We really ought to get them help as soon as we can. If we could just get back to town... Stop. There should be no interruptions here. And now, boy... It's your turn. Huh? What are you talking about? The Shining Dragon. Bring him out. What? How dare you make demands of his radiance! Get out of my way. <sighs> Kirika! I... I'm okay. You'll be less than okay if you interfere again. If you don't want to get hurt, stay back. Stop this! Hmm? Don't even think about touching them! Childish flailing. You shouldn't try to move while you're recovering. Now, break the seal and summon the dragon. <laughs> what, what should, should I, do? I do? There's no way I can beat him. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. So that's how you open it. Quite the contrivance she's put together. I knew she was skilled, but even so. So you did know my mom? We've met. But where? Please. Enough of your mother. Now we talk about the Shining Dragon. Why he's with you instead of her, I can't fathom. But I'll have my answers soon enough. Release him. Now. Or else, I'll just have to coax him out myself. where you're swinging that thing genus Agnum. oh hey Kirika fancy bumping into you what's this guy's problem huh I should hope I don't have to tell you please Agnum protect his radiance his radiance oh so this is the guy out of my way Agnum I'm not here for you only the dragon yeah, nah, I can't let you do that. I'm not taking another step as long as you've got that sword in your hands, you hear me? You? Very well. I'll cut you down, then return my attentions to the Shining Dragon. Oh, you wanna go, huh? Alright, I've got time for a round or two. The man whose music burns like wildfire. You know who it is, babe? I'm Agnum Bulletheart, the Pyro Maestro. Get a load of these beats and try not to get burned, kids. Agnum Tutorial Agnum is a Dragoneer who uses the staff Igloot. He is proficient, or yeah, he is proficient both at physical and magical attacks. His break attack makes a pillar of fire appear in front of him. The pillar of fire will remain there for a certain amount of time. It is effective when placed in spots the enemy will cross or when the enemy's weakness is fire. Okay, okay, hold on. Potion. They can't heal, so this is interesting. But we do have healing. What am I talking about? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold up one second. Can I just be my normal character? I can. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm unleashing the dragon. Leveled for this fight. I'll treat your wounds. I'll figure something out. Cannot have them attack her. Together we can do it. I'll treat your wounds. How's that? Watch their movements closely now. I I could do the song. Let's hold up on the song. Hey, home dog, stop. Hey, leave her alone. I'll take care of 
He's out of the half health. We have more health, so we can, like, we can live through his... Come here, but no. Hit me before you hit her. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna potion her up. Hey, homeboy, stop it. Oh, oh, nope, that's aimed at me. Okay, good. Can she please heal herself? Okay, um... Gonna run out of... Who did she heal? Exactly. Okay, that's aimed at her. We gotta heal. I'm gonna do that. Be safe. Can you heal me? Please? Not him. Can you please? Oh. Okay, hold on. She's down. I gotta use my one... I gotta, I gotta use this on her. Because I need the heals. And then I gotta use this on her. I'm gonna use the muscle apple on myself. And then I'm gonna turn into the dragon. Hey! Home dogs! was just me. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I don't have any items left. I think this is pretty much... Yeah, that's pretty much... That was the... That was the hot GG. But I think we can actually beat him. Okay, so he's level 15. He can handle himself. is appropriately leveled. Okay, broke him. I'm gonna go dragon. Don't get too cocky. Never beat up. 
Yeah, bro, just let me wail on you. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, he's broke. That was clutch. Well, this is going a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna do the song. Oh crap. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. My mother nature. I'll treat you show me up. We got this. Broke him. No escape. I'll wipe you all out. Take this. Let me help now. I'll take your room. You figure something out. Here it comes. I like this new dude with the guitar. Alright. There we go. Good night, genius. 1100 experience for everybody. Nice. Come on, genius. Let's just call it a day. If we keep this up, one of us is gonna get hurt for real. <laughs> As you like. Well, hold on. I didn't think you'd actually agree to that. Why the sudden change of heart? Never you mind. His life was never my objective here anyway. Even if you hadn't happened by, it's not as though I was going to kill him. Maybe if he could see past his own cowardice, I wouldn't have to resort to such dramatics to lure out the dragon. <sighs> But if you Dragoneers are so intent on keeping the whelp under your wings, so be it. There might still be time. Yes, I can already hear the strains of the last song. The last song? The hell are you talking about? Farewell. Hey, hold up! And he's gone. Well, that was... a thing. Hey, kid. You okay? I'm okay. Uh... Agnum. I'm one of Astoria's Dragoneers. Same as Kirika and Rena. I'm Yuma. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you bet. Crazy coincidence, though. Contracts from town started drying up, so I figured I'd swing by here and help map the frontier out. Didn't even enter my mind that guy would be skulking around here, too. <laughs> Color me surprised. Honestly, who does that genus think he is? How dare he even lay a finger on his radiance? Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Can you move? Yeah, I can put my weight on my feet a little. Sorry I'm not being much help. You're fine. If anyone's apologizing, it should be me. I didn't do anything. Just stood there in shock. It's okay, really. Don't hold yourself responsible. I said I'd help you out, but I've just been dragging you down every step of the way. Yuma. Yo, maybe postpone the pity party until something actually bad happens. <laughs> Nobody's dead. Nobody got hurt. That's a good day for us. But... We'll talk about your dilemmas more after we hit town, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, so Agnum has joined the party. So who's in the party now? So we lost Rena. That's alright. He didn't level up off of that, and that's interesting. I didn't even have to, like, force item use or anything like that, really. She's drastically under-leveled. Hmm, that'll be interesting. She's like... I, and I mean drastically under-leveled. Yes. His level helps a lot. 
because it helps kind of uh, what am I trying to say? Um, mitigate the fact that I'm slightly underleveled with the fact that he's slightly overleveled. Not overleveled, but he's appropriately leveled. I think I prefer yes. him to Rena. Enemy approaching. I would fight these guys if they weren't level 6. I need some appropriately leveled enemies to fight. I probably should have used one of my stones to get back, but at this point we hey, should probably run. Oh my gosh. Oh, we just smoke everything now. Like, nothing even stands remotely a shot. 86 XP. That's probably absolutely trash now. That's my guess. Right. Get ready. Here they come. All right, back in the big city. Which one are you again? Gay Bulg? Heard some guy took you out with one swing. That is so. A terrifying opponent to engage. But I endure. Was he that strong then? Of course. I am Draco Machina. Dragon kind. For a human to damage me, let alone surpass me, is perturbing. <laughs> wow. Surpass, huh? Sounds like you've got it all wrong. Wrong? Explain this word. You speak, but I do not comprehend. Just saying. Doesn't have to be about that guy's strength. Maybe. Maybe it's you, Machina, who don't have the power. Are you trying to rile me to violence? Huh? Oh, nah. No fun to be had there. Just thinking out loud. Ah, I'm no good with words, and it'd be a pain to walk you through it. Just here. Let me show you. Interesting. Looks like you're all fixed up now, aren't you? By my lady Excella's grace. Now, what do you wish to show me, mortal? <laughs> Let me make it easy. Not only will I put you down like he did, but I promise it'll only take me one strike! Time to die! <laughs> see? You see now? See just how weak you are? <laughs> Conscious? I guess I can be a little impressed by that, but it still pisses me off! Just die, won't you? 
face at once. What are you doing? <sighs> oh, the princess. Gabolk, are you all right? Yes. Somehow. To lay low, Gabolk. Your captain said you had a measure of power, but you surprised me even so. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I underestimated the big guy, that's all. Guess he's still a dragon at the end of the day. You present a mystery, human. No man, save the dragon slayer, should be able to wound this shell. Dragon slayer, huh? I mean, look, I hit you with all I had, yeah? So, if this dragon slayer of yours can hit me even harder than that, he's gotta be a match for me, right? <laughs> You've got to understand, there's never been anyone like that. I've checked. So this dragon slayer. <laughs> I'm getting pretty psyched to meet this guy. <laughs> well, Gyor did warn me that one would be hard to tame. But, perhaps a lighter touch is called for. Pointed in the right direction, this man may yet prove useful. I see. That must have been a harrowing experience. No, I made it out okay. I'm fine too. But father, the real issue here is what the Imperial Princess could be up to. Agreed. Ever since Princess Axella arrived, Imperial activity has been on the rise. Mark my words, some foul wind is blowing in. Before this, all they were interested in was fortifying the holdings they already had. We'll be in real trouble if they decide to mount an offensive, you realize. They win the numbers game if they bring everything they have to bear. Due respect, Majesty. Maybe it's time we tap the knights for this. Send them out to the front. I won't risk losing you or yours, Burroughs. Manpower, supplies, information, we don't have enough of any of them. And until we do, the knightly orders are too valuable to throw at a problem so blindly. That's my stance. You know that better than anyone, old friend. Understood. I'll have my boys stick to their guard post for now. Good. The royal order we should keep in reserve. And as for the Wellentine order, the elven knights are tied up maintaining the front lines. We need an alternative. What I propose is a strike team comprised of the Dragoneers and the Shining Dragon. We'll be counting on you as the backbone of that unit, Yuma. Y yes, sir. Counting on me, huh? What can I even really do? When Genus attacked me, I froze up. Tapping into the Dragon's power was the last thing on my mind. Can I trust, I trust myself, myself to handle, handle that, that pressure, pressure again? again? A lot's happened. He must be tired. We should rest for today. Second, um, I can smell the clean sheets already. I can't wait to put my feet up. Giggle. Rinna, if you are going to sleep early today, I expect you to wake up early tomorrow. Okay, everyone, let's go home to the Seagull End. Hmm. Like, how my main quest is to go to the Seagull End. <sighs> Alright. So that'll pretty much do it for this episode. That was a, I'll say a pretty cool episode. We should probably talk.
I'm glad Agnum is back. He's really dependable, so I think you'll become friends with him in no time. We're all ready, friends. Yeah. All right, so we got a we got a nighttime event. Oh. I hi. I can't decide if I want her or Rena. It's probably more logical to use her. Did you need something? And not Rena. Is something the matter, your radiance? If there is anything trouble you, please feel free to confide in me. I think I think Rinna is the smart move, but I think I'm gonna keep her instead. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. We'll be able to decide who's in a party right now. Okay, so sh oh, they uh, uh, no, you can't have all of them, but you can sub them out that easily. It's actually pretty cool. It's really easy to sub people out. Alrighty, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.